Hey guys, we're back with some more Blaine Soul. Gonna be uh, leveling my Kung Fu Master, so um, just gonna keep going with questing. And yeah, about it. Alright, so right now we gotta be killing some uh, crabs, collecting their uh, conch at strat, so I'm gonna be doing that real quick. And we got one more. This is actually one of my favorite areas with the beach. It's really pretty. Personally. And I think we got some uh, junk. Yeah, just some junk. Alright, I'm gonna head back, turn this quest, and uh, keep going. I am, uh, what level am I? Level 8 right now, so pretty decent progress. Um, haven't, haven't played on my Kung Fu Master, I think, in like almost a week, so. Just definitely want to keep leveling here and there. Probably take it to like Matt's level, and then after that, I don't know how much I'll progress it because, of course, Gearing and Blade and Soul is kind of like a lot of work. So, if I do get serious about it, I would have to invest a lot of time because upgrading your gear is just a lot of time consuming stuff, like getting the Soul Shields again and all that. That takes a lot of time. Anyways. Go yeah, ahead, Matt. I really like the member uh, membership. Uh, what's it called effect for Kung Fu Master? I like the like the dragons like. Oh my thing right now. I think that looks really cool. I like that. Right. Everything's taking a while to load. I guess that's weird. But, um, yeah, that's about it. So, you know, I wish they did. I don't know if you guys have ever played that. They have a fame system, which basically means the more characters you have, the more, uh, well, their currency is called silver, but the more silver you get. And I really would like to see actually Blade and Soul kind of copy that because it'd be really cool, like, to encourage to have multiple level 50s and, like, gain, like, maybe, like, like, uh, like how Black Death Crap. So it'd be cool if, like, Blade and Soul, for example, like, mailed you like maybe a couple of gold a day for uh how many level 50s you have like i think that'd be like a really cool idea and it would probably make like everyone want to level all the level 50 uh all the classes i should say um that's just my personal thing i wouldn't be mad at them if they copied that i really do like that system because uh ults in this game are kind of hard to alt characters are kind of hard to like i would say gear up i would say so Sometimes a pain. I'm just gonna kind of ignore the side quest. Honestly, side quest in Blaine Soul is kind of useless. There's really not that many that are even worth doing, sadly. So it's kind of unfortunate. Oh, actually, wait. Let me check something real quick. Oh, never mind. Actually, my bad, guys. <laughs> I should go back and take that quest real quick, just because. I probably won't be back uh, at Bamboo Village for a while, so I should probably go grab that real quick. We're going to go grab that and then um, see what faction we want to be. So, I have a, the other faction. And I like to kind of see, like, spy on the faction chat and see what the other uh, faction is saying, because... You actually never hear about the other faction people because, you know, everyone talks in faction chat, sadly, so. It's kind of unfortunate. Getting a lot of loading screens today. But we get to see some cool art from uh, Chris Lee. This one's actually really nice. I like this one. Yeah. Hurry up. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to go for the other faction. And call it a day. So let's go talk to these old people real quick. Both for really old uh, people. So, yep, joining it. Boom. And we're going to put on the outfit because we do not care. Usually, I, usually I don't wear the outfit when I love a new character because people always attack you. But you know what? We're going to go balls out and just, just wear the outfit. I don't care. Actually, be pretty entertaining if we have to fight some people. <laughs> Actually, when I first uh, made my first character, Catmint, 
who's a blade dancer, I wore the faction outfit, which, which was the crimson one, and I literally got killed like 10 times by other players. And this was when the game first came out, so everyone was playing. And that was so frustrating, like, literally I'd just be running to quest and I'd get killed like every 5 seconds. And unequipped it, because I was like, man, I enjoy it at level 50, I might actually like upgrade the gear and all that stuff, but um... As of right now, I'm just going to level and kind of see how I feel. Because when you start upgrading to like freaking legendary weapon and getting the legendary uh, accessories and all that, that's very, very, very time consuming. And as I said, it's um, a lot of time involved. So if I make an old character, I would definitely make sure I really enjoy the class. Um, all the classes I actually find really fun to play. I'll probably start leveling more because I have a lot of seven uh, slots. I got some choices. And okay. Now we're going to head to the bamboo lookout. I'm going to fight this guy real quick. What are we looking at? Combo. Oh. <laughs> I'm not ready at Combo Master, as you can tell. I can't even uh, counter a, a freaking bot, not even a real player enemy. I don't know, something about like punching people that's like so satisfying in this game. Like, it's just like really enjoyable to hit things. Like it's just fun. Like look at this. I don't know why. It's just entertaining. And these people want to fight me? Come on. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, we're, I'll see Crimson, so I think we're good. I'm gonna turn this quest. Bam, level 9. Uh, these side quests, I remember I do get. If I'm actually uh, correct, I can't really remember. Um, I'm pretty sure, because... Um, remember, these are like really easy, and they actually give good uh, XP, so... I still sometimes, I think, do them. Alrighty, let's punch some people, let's go, let's go, let's go. I really just want to get my Nets uh, weapon so I can equip my freaking OP whale gems. Just kidding, they're not very OP, they're actually the basic ones, but they're still strong, so they'll be helpful. Um, I wish you could transfer like pets and stuff, because I have a pet aura, like stage 10, which would be so nice right now, but... You can't uh, trade it, which is kind of stupid, but, you know. There's a lot of things in this game that you can't trade that should just be bound to account. And to me, that's one of them. But, you know, maybe one day. It's only a dream. Oh, 2v1. Well, these guys are like Kung Fu Masters, too. That's kind of cool. Or like bad ones, or whatever you want to call them. Alrighty, well, this video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to end it here. Uh, next video, we'll uh, explore the abandoned well. Oh my god, I almost... <laughs> As I said, I almost fall off the freaking map. Um, but we're going to explore the abandoned well. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy these little Kung Fu Master playthroughs. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video real soon.